Wow, look at the glowing grass. Oh, and the mushrooms glow. Oh my gosh. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another fantastical episode of No Man's Sky with Gamer Brit. So today, I'm mostly going to be following the storyline because I want to see if they can give me, you know, like some more upgrades for things instead of me spending research data and stuff like that. Because sometimes if you follow the storyline, you actually get upgrades and learn blueprints on, along the way. So I want to continue with that. But first, I want to check in with my fleet to see if they have come back from the missions that I've sent them on and see what kind of goodies they have brought me. Okay. This one has got Albion and Pearl, Living Pearl, and 36,560 credits. Woohoo! We're getting richer. So, if you missed the last episode, um, this is my new freighter. And um, when you have different fleet, you know, ships that you can send out, you have to have a command room for each one of them. And so, I have this one here. And I have this one, so let's see here. What do you got? Ooh, geodesite? Ooh, oh my, this one, it just keeps going. Nothing of interest. Okay, what do you got? Effigy, geodesite, lemium, crystal sulfide, albumin pearl. Okay, and then when they come back from the missions, it actually goes directly into the freighter storage. So this is new geodesite. Advanced durable alloy primarily used in starship hull construction. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm not going to be too worried about the stuff right now. So it's just going to sit here for a little bit. Also in this episode, oh my gosh, I just got a hundred and almost 170,000 credits too. I'm rich! Oh my gosh! Okay. So, I'm gonna be, you know, kind of filling in as I go, like, what kind of rooms I want to set up and, like, for building. I mean, let's see here. Where is... Here we go. So, we got the large freighter room, command room, junction, stairways... Some more hallways, corridors. It's pretty much it so far. I wonder if I can learn some new things. So, actually, I did kind of watch a video today, and I think I might link that video down below um, to show you what I have learned. So, in here, for specific types of fleets, or not fleets, but um, the frigates or the ships that you send out, if you send, like, let's say if you've got a bunch of ones that can do, you know, trade, okay? So you go in here and you assign more, you can assign up to five ships. And if they have over, like, 20 plus, probably 25 plus is better for trade specifically, and you get over, to, over 100, the fleet rating goes up to five stars and you get, like, uber rewards. So... I thought that was pretty awesome, but unfortunately, I only have two ships at the moment. See, and then this one's trade is 33, so that's really awesome starting out, you know. So for now, uh, until I get more freighters, we're just going to stick with the one-star missions, I guess. And I'll just keep sending them out and... Oh no, I need more fuel. Okay. Can I make more fuel? Oops. Wrong menu. Okay. I need to go farm some dihydrogen. Okay, so we'll do that when we're out and about. So, does that mean I don't have enough to send the other one? For just for exploration? Okay, so I think this one... This one here. This is exploration, I think. Okay, this one's... 
Okay. Yeah, I don't have enough for that one either. So I might have to go get dehydrated first. Because that way that... Because it's got large timers, like two to three hours at least. For those ones that I was just looking at. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go get dehydrated first. And um, then continue on with the storage. Storyline. Not the storage line. Story. So... I'm on this ossified planet here, and I'm just going around collecting lots of different um, dihydrogen crystals. And I noticed that there, were, like on my scanner when I'm looking around, there's this here that's a question mark. I have seen them before. They're called glitches or something like that. And um, I've only known to like sell them, you know, I think. Oh, it says used for building, but I don't know. I mean, does that mean we can actually put that inside of our base? So I think we're going to, like, maybe test that out. I'm not sure exactly how to do that, though. Let's see. It says, retrieve from a malfunctioning planet is safe for rehousing in habitable bases. Interesting. It does, it's not going to come up on the menu. It says portable sink. Oh. Because it's telling me to boost my signal. I wonder if I made this here. I'm getting sidetracked again, sorry. Okay, there's that. And then carbon nanotube. And I still need sodium. don't see any sodium in the beauty area. I'm going to have to go look for it. Anyways, for now, I am just going to continue getting more dihydrogen crystals. I just thought I should show you guys the glitches. And if anybody has to actually seen them in their gameplay, you know, make a comment. Say, tell me, like, what have you done with it? Like, what do you do? Just Do you just sell it? Or is there a specific way that you're supposed to use them to build? I think that would be a really great question to answer. Okay, so I went to farm some dihydrogen, I got some stuff, made the fuel, I'm going to put it in my freighter's cargo, and hopefully now I will have enough to do both of the expeditions that are available for my uh, frigates. Alright, let's do the trade one first. That's two star difficulty. Okay. Launch. All right. And then this one is two star difficulty. Because we're moving up in the world. We used to only be able to do the one stars, but now I'm confident we can do the two. Okay. So now, I am going to continue on with the storyline, and I keep going into the wrong menu. Okay. So, triangulate the beacons. Okay. I needed to get sodium, I think, for the beacons. So, let, let's do that one first. Alright. Wrong menu. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, let's do that. And then, let me go and make some sodium because I did have uh, sodium nitrate crystals that I harvested while I was down yonder on the planet. So let's see here. Sodium nitrate. Okay, bacon. I don't care. Using all of it. That's fine. And it's done. Okay. All right. Portable. I guess I have to actually be on planet for it to work. But, yeah. All right. So let me go out in space. And find a planet. Not in space, actually. Let me go and find a planet and land on there and see if it'll let me do the first booster. All right, so now I'm down on a planet. Let's see if we can make this. Okay. 
and I'm using these for other things and I had to remake them in. Okay. Do I just set it down? Okay. Activate it. Online, online, online. Okay, all good things. Triangular position. Okay. We did it. All right. Okay. Now pick up the single booster. Make your way to the triangulation site. Okay, which is on a different planet. Okay. Let's do this. Get our triangulation on. It's having us going straight down. I feel like this is going to be bad. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And did I do it? I did it. Woohoo! Oh, this is a very mushroom planet. Wow! Look at the glowing grass! Oh, and the mushrooms glow! Oh my gosh! Oh, friend or foe. Are you gonna eat me? This is highly intelligent. Okay, that's trouble. Diet is foliage. Okay, whew! Alright. Oh my gosh, look at this grass. It's so amazing. Okay, so what am I doing? Oh. Scanning things, of course, first of all. I got all these things, and so there's something over there. Hopefully, that is also not dangerous. Okay. Are you gonna kill me? Oh, look at it! It's so tiny! Okay. I can always scan the stuff later. Alright, so... Signal booster. Down. What's this? I must scan you. Okay. Do it again, and I'm going to check out that facility before we leave. Let's see here. Triangulate. Okay. Let me try to free up some space here. Oh! oh look at that, you guys! Got a storm crystal! Oh my gosh, that is awesome! Those things are really hard to get because you literally have to wait for storm, like, weather for, like, specific planets that it's on. And, like, it could take a while, so... Sweet! I got that for free! Woohoo! Alright. Let me put some things into my starships. Who also has low inventory because that's, you know, how I do things. Alright. Hopefully I don't get too many goodies here. But, oh my god. Oh, this is like burnt. Interesting. Do you guys see how amazing this looks? Wow. Okay. What you got for me? This is gonna be another puzzle. Do 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 do. Yep, sure is. Okay. Ah, of course. Okay, so 12, 12, 12, 12. Do I do 21, 21? All right. Well, that was easy. Is this another knowledge center? Yep. That's okay. I'm okay with knowledge. What was that over there? There was... Something. Was it just this? The paraphidium? Yeah. Oh. Try not to kill myself in the past. Oh, it's just cobalt. Okay. It almost looked like some kind of shiny thing. 
Alright, I'm done scanning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the signal booster. And we are gonna go to the knowledge stone stuff first, since it's on this planet. I'm sure the triangulation of the position is probably on a different planet. Right? Oh, both are. Okay, I'm getting the hint here. Interesting. Wait a minute. This is so weird. Okay. It's like, oh, it's a way over there. Got it. Oh, I see. Okay, so I was on the mood of the planet, and this one is actually on the planet. Oh, wait, no. This one's on a different planet. I'm confused. I'm just going where it's telling me to go. <laughs> Getting some more knowledge stuff. <laughs> Seriously, that was it? Just those two? No, there's gotta be something else here I'm missing. Okay, so I got the one down there and I got this one. Is this something? Okay. Ooh. That's pretty cool looking. Help with language. Alright. Does that mean more of these popped up? Because I already got this one. And I got this one down here. Is that it? Alright. I guess we're going back to triangulating positions. Yay, I'm pretty sure this is a frost planet. Yay! Go me! Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm weird. I really love snow so much. Ooh, and a landing site. Alright. Hashtag no starship fuel usage. Oh yeah. Apparently, I've got... <laughs> I landed in a pile of friends. Alright. Chart. What you gonna give me? And... Navigation data. Okay, and... Ten nanites. Oh my gosh, that is the best gift ever. Woohoo! Oh my gosh! I'm so happy I came here! Sarcasm. <gasps> Is that those egg thingies? Oh! Oh, what planet are we on? Okay. I'm not gonna do this right now, but there's actually a trick that we could use this area to, like, farm with. So, I'm gonna rename this planet. How do I do that? Tap out of it. Okay. Rename. How do I do that? Go back because it says X to rename and upload. Is it because I already uploaded it? Okay. Yeah, it's because I already uploaded it. Alright, well, at least I'll have to remember and we'll write it down. Hunter Oodle is our alien egg farm. Because those things that they actually drop are, like, super useful for getting money. Like, super. Okay. Alright, let's check this out. There's also very technology here, but I want to be careful because I don't want to anger those like demon things that come out of the ground. Okay. And then I'm going to check this facility out real quick before we 
actually put the signal booster down because I think the signal booster is going to uh, triangulate a position of somewhere else I'm going to have to go afterwards. Oh my gosh, where is the entrance? Okay. Oh, and then actually need to put it back on my beam. Just in case there's things on the roof that I need to zappy zap. Okay, looks okay so far. Ooh, I hate being in places like this. Ooh, so disgusting. They probably have like no room. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, can I just discard it? Alright. Jump. Let me discard this. I said discard. Okay. Discard this. Let's see what this gives me. I hope this is not more knowledge stuff. Alright, let's figure this out. 9183. Alright. So. So I'll be 19 in the middle. I don't see 19. Maybe it's 91 in the middle. Alright. Okay. These things are easy, I guess. I mean, when you're looking at them, it's like a pattern of numbers. So you can see the two sets of numbers. So, like, it'll be, you know like first and last position and then they're split up between the outside and the inside and then there's the uh, last and first position and then the, it would be the reverse the inside the outside numbers so you just kind of have to look at the numbers and see the patterns of them all right it is some more knowledge stuff here is also off planet okay all right, let's do the signal booster for thing first. Boost that signal. Okay. It says return to space to contact Artemis. All right. All right, well, it looks like Artemis is uh, contacting me. I barely even got off the planet. Go to the hollow terminus, okay. And where's that at? Locate, press C. Where is you? You is. Is that on the planet? Nope. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have no idea where this is pointing me. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's go to the knowledge thing first, just to get that out of the way. And it looks like these are both actually on the same planet, so that makes things a little easier. And this one has like an observatory thing next to it too. I'm not going to get another observatory. I just would be using this for the landing pad because I have no fuel and I might as well, you know, not waste any fuel. So I'm going to wander over this way. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing is so much prettier at night. I mean, look at that. The glowing of the grass and the mushrooms. I am so happy they decided to do that next generation update because this it really looks amazing. If you're on a planet and something is like really far on the same planet like this one, I was over here and I said it was going to take me an hour to get there at like, you know, pressing shift and going faster. So get off the planet and just pulse drive to it. It's so much faster. Yeah, look at that. So from an hour of travel time to six seconds. Oh yeah, you definitely can't argue with that. All right, is there a landing pad? Yay! Okay. 
And boom. All right, another one of these things. Oh, you know what? It's gonna ask for sodium, isn't it? Okay, I got 85, so hopefully that'll be enough. Look at my tiny little legs. <laughs> How can you even reach those? Yeah, 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 life support. Whoa. Getting out of control there. Alright. There. Now shut up. Activate. Okay, so I didn't need... Uh, sodium, so that hey, you know, works for me. All right, now what do you want? Confirm. Blah blah blah. My gosh, you're a talker. Now what? All right, Artemis translator. All right, automatic translation device. Okay, so is that what I need to do now? Okay, so I'm gonna have to buy a microprocessor. You know what? I actually have those back on my ship or my freighter. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the freighter, get this installed. Alright, so it doesn't appear that I have the copper. I thought I did, but it's chromatic metal. Duh. So I'm going to have to go and farm, and I was actually looking to see what I was going to do for creating my base, and I saw that I'm also going to need a lot of resources for that. So for now, that's going to be the end of this episode. Off camera, I'm going to gather a whole bunch of uh, resources, start doing the building next time, and go from there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment and let me know if you want me to leave the storyline out or if you want to see something specific or have any questions. And if you want to continue to watch these amazing videos, subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification button so you know when my video actually drops. And have a good day or evening wherever you are. Bye!